What's happening, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Welcome to PR Sense. I hope you guys are doing really well. My name's Jose, and here you'll find fragrance reviews for the common men and ladies at not too expensive prices. So today we're gonna be talking about, uh, I think it was a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx find that I haven't seen ever. So I picked it up, small little bottle, and it's David Beckham's Ohm, which is, uh, I believe it's a cologne, but if you guys wanna know what I think about it, stick around and I'll see you in a second. Thanks guys. All right guys, so like I said, we're talking about David Beckham's Ohm. And it is, I've got a little, little bottle. This is what it looks like, okay? And this is the, the box that it came in and it says David Beckham Ohm. Mine, does it say anything? No, it just gives you a batch number, but it doesn't give you anything else. Um, it's an Oude Toilette is what it is, okay? And this came out in 2011, and it is a very nice scent. I'll, I'll give you that much. So its top notes are Szechuan pepper, ginger, and citrus. Mids are cashmere wood, leather, and rosemary. And then its base is mahogany, musk, and patchouli. Now, this has been compared to very, very slightly compared to Terra de Hermes. Um, some people have said it smells like this one, which is an oldie, Quorum Silver. Now, this thing is, is old. This is really old. Um, but you know what? This smells pretty good. I haven't reviewed this one yet. Um, this is an old style kind of fragrance. Young guys probably wouldn't like it. You older gentlemen, it probably would bring back memories. Um, but it's very, very nice. And yeah, it does slightly smell like, like this. It's a very woody, fresh shower gel kind of scent. It's clean, powdery, and musky. And it's a little bit slightly spicy. Um, I don't get the leather that much in it, just slightly le leather. Um, I get more of the ginger, the Szechuan pepper, um, the patchouli and the musk. It is a very, very nice scent. It's very masculine. Um, so ladies, I don't, I don't think you'll like this one. It's a very masculine scent. It's very reminiscent of the older style kind of scents as well, but it is so, so nice. Really, really nice. Now here's the problem. It's performance sucks so bad. It's, I mean, on my skin, if it lasts two hours, you know, that's a lot. And that's, that's like a skin scent after maybe 20 minutes. Um, and that's, that's the problem with that one. It's just, it doesn't last that long. It's gone fairly quickly, but you can find it for like $12.99, $16.99. So, you know, you, you just have to weigh that. Um, it might make a nice, uh, gym scent, you know, in the fall. I see it more of a fall winter kind of scent. Um, maybe a cool spring, not summer. Um, but it is, it is a very nice scent if you want to have something that you can just throw on every now and then and you know it'll last you like an hour or so or two just to smell good after you get out of the gym but yeah yeah it's musky i can smell that patchouli which gives it a little bit of, of an earthiness to it um and then you know the citrus slight citrus as well so it's very nice now if you want if you are at I think it was Marshall's. If you're at Marshall's and sometimes TJ Maxx, you want to find something that smells like it so you can see, you know, what it smells like at a really inexpensive price. Uh, they have this brand, Crosscut, and they make a couple of different ones. There's one that my brother has that smells, he says, smells great. This is called Black Oud, and this was $8 at Marshall's. Um, and this smells so similar to Beckham's uh, own. Really, really similar. I can't get you the notes on that because it's not anywhere that I could find, but, uh, and I haven't reviewed this one yet. I, I probably will at some point, but um, they smell so alike. So if you see this one, Crosscut Black Oud, uh, pick that one up because it, they, they are really, really nice. And this falls in the same line as, as David Beckham's, which is the performance, you know, it's a, not that great but again you're paying eight dollars so don't moan to me um so yeah that's my review of david the 
So that's my review of David Beckham's Ohm. And I hope you like it. If you did, please do me a huge favor. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. And as always, guys, you guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.